Carbon atoms can be arranged in different patterns or structures called allotropes. The two natural formations are diamond and graphite. Different properties of these substances are due to the arrangement of these atoms. In a diamond, each of the carbon atoms is bonded to four other carbon atoms in a pattern resembling a caltrop. You can orient it with one carbon atom above it and the other three kind of splayed out like feet. What this does mean, if you try to compress a diamond, the force is then spread out evenly among its feet, then continue to dissipate the force over a larger and larger area, being the diamond its amazing toughness, at least under compression. Also, because each carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms, there's no weak spot in a pure diamond to open up those carbon bonds. Of course, not all diamonds are totally pure. Impurities like nitrogen inside diamonds cause the diamonds to change colour and may also create weak spots within the diamond. Naturally, the outermost carbon atoms in a diamond won't be bonded to four carbon atoms. Instead, they'll bind with other atoms which are present when the diamond was formed. This produces a nith, or an opaque coating surrounding the diamond, meaning that raw diamonds can be mistaken for other stones. It's in this rough state that experts can determine which country the diamonds have come from. Once they've been cut into gems, it becomes very difficult or even impossible. The diamonds are originally produced 100 miles under the earth where the pressures and temperatures are extreme enough to begin the process of creating diamonds from carbon bearing rock. The longer the diamond is in this position, the larger the diamond will be created. Once they've been created, they can be then forced up to the surface, being carried in magma along with other rocks until they're close to the surface to be extracted by mining. This does mean that diamonds can only be found near volcanoes or where they've been washed downstream from them. Because of the specifics of this process, diamonds, especially large diamonds, are rare compared to other rocks. However, not as rare as diamond companies would like you to believe. Tons of diamonds are mined each year, just that they restrict the supply of diamonds to the public to inflate the price. Generally why, if you try to resell a diamond, you'll only be able to get a fraction of its purchase price. Diamonds can now also be artificially created. The temperature and pr pressure, pressure conditions within the earth can now be duplicated. These diamonds are either equal or even superior to naturally formed diamonds since producers can carefully control any impurities within the diamond. The companies creating these synthetic diamonds are under pressure from the natural diamond producers to mark their diamonds to distinguish them as they may become a threat to the diamond market. That's an introduction to diamonds and diamond creation.